These are some screenshots that I'm going to be using as references. So I do not own any of these images. I'm just going to use them uh, as references and talk to you about the modeling and texturing that is coming. So this is from Black Mesa. This is Guard Duty. And this is going to be the main image that I'm going to be using and probably the main angle for uh, at least one of my one of my renders. I guess I'll render from different positions. So I want to talk about um, what lies ahead and what we're going to need to do. So as we can see, we've got a corridor here. Off to the side is the, the bathroom or the washroom. I believe this is an entrance here and I believe this is an entrance here. And of course, I, I modeled uh, a bathroom and I called it the Half-Life bathroom. And uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, and I'm probably not going to do these entrance ways, although I might just do a little bit of a hallway. But let's just look at some of the elements. Now, we've got a tiled wall here. So we've got tile sort of about halfway up the wall along there, and then it curves around and it goes down there. Whether or not we use geometry for that or more likely a texture. All right, so uh, we've got that. And then above that, we've got these uh, concrete panels here, these con this part of the concrete wall. Now, now I, I do have various images to show you, but this part sort of puzzles me a little bit. And I, I'm not really crazy about this, this design, at least for me doing it. I don't know what to do here. Um, we've got some towels here, and I think this might be uh, some guard pants. I'm not sure. I'm more inclined to either put a mirror here, which I think would be cool to have a mirror there, or maybe some kind of an inset area. I'm just not sure. So we've got concrete here, and we've got here. And the width of this piece is going to be the same as the width of this piece, all right? So we could do this in a modular fashion. We could create a piece like this, and then I could copy it and snap it down. However, um, the tile height, the height of the tile here, is the same as the height of this concrete. So we could kind of make a piece and have have one kind of piece with tile leading up to concrete with a little bit of a, a divider in between, at least in the concrete. And then we could use that same kind of piece and swap out the tile for concrete and place them along here. But we're going to have another closer look. So, so we got some concrete walls and we got some tile to do. And obviously we have a tiled floor with one, two, three, four tiles wide and we don't have to count how long. All right. All right. Let's, let's have a look at some of the other images and, and have a close look at, at the main thing in, in this shot, which, which that drew me to it really, which is these lockers that I think are really great. Um, just before we jump to another image, we can see that we have almost what looks like double size lockers. All right. And after each locker, is a different style locker with a really neat sort of mesh um, surface here. All right, they both have locks all the way along. And I mean, this is obviously geometry here, but here where you would have the holes, the vent-like part, this looks like it's a texture. Now, I, I would probably do those as holes and make it in geometry. And then we have other obvious geometry. We've got this, the you know this the uh, the cylinder here for the, the the hinge, but then we have some indents. Now those could be done in Substance Painter. I wouldn't want to do those in geometry. All right, and we're gonna we need to have a look down here as well, where the lockers come down to, whether they stick out or not. Looks like a little bit of concrete that would be under there. All right, so let's see what else we can come up with as we go through these. This is a shot from the, the I guess we could see a shower, the bathroom area, into here. Now, as I look at this one, it looks like this locker on the end is, is narrower. Or maybe that's just the impression I'm getting from it. All right, but more importantly, we can see the concrete walls, all right, again, up to the same height as the tile. And we can see this black stuff here. So it's like this is a modular piece connected together. 
we'll try to zoom in and have a closer look at that okay now um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but it looks in this image as if the lockers are flush. In other words, don't stick out further than the concrete wall. That's what it looks like to me. So it's like we've got that same modular piece here, but instead they, they have the, the locker here. And you got a little bit of concrete and then below that they've got this piece here now this is the same width as the tile so we have to keep that that in mind as well and then this is not just black there's it, it looks almost as if it would be a vent once again geometry for this but it looks like texture for that probably texture for the the bolts or the indents looks like some are indented and some are sticking out I'm not sure okay all good to use for reference and you can see the wire kind of looks like uh, hexagons almost squished hexagons uh, to do that to do that piece here's another one now we can see that the width of the locker seems to be the width from here to here of that piece and inside here are shelves behind the wire this is a very interesting lock. All right, we could do something for that. We can see the double concrete here. And again, the width of these pieces is the same as the tile. All right, just another one showing the same thing. So actually, now we can count how many lockers there are. There's concrete here, so there's one main one and then the wire, main and wire, main and wire. So we've got sort of like, we've got three, um, three of those doubles. And you'll notice that, or I'll draw your attention to the white scratches here. See the three dots there and the three dots there. So they're just repeated, all right? And I could do that with um, collection instances, uh, which I probably would do, uh, and they end up, you know, re just repeating and, and they're okay with that. All right, and a lot of common stuff. So we've got the um, the hinge here, copy to there, to there, to there, to there, to there. So we need to think about how we're going to do uh, these things. Uh, this lock here is obviously, you know, the same thing. It's indented here. It's indented, indented all the way along, okay? So I think once we decide on our, our width for the wall piece or the locker piece, we're going to use those interchangeably. Now, let's. this is the ceiling, all right? And it's not just a flat black ceiling. It's got this kind of, it's got this, which is very common in, in something like Substance Painter. You'd use it sort of like for um, a metal grate floor, all right? But they've got the... You know, they've got the horizontal ones and the vertical ones just interchanging. So they've got that on sort of black, the black background, whether that's raised or not, all against a gray, very similar to the concrete. And I can't quite figure out the lights. I mean, obviously it's a texture with some glow. Um, I think I, I'll do something in geometry, just like, you know, three fluorescent lights. And there's probably two of them in the room. All right, but that's that's what the ceiling looks like. So it's good to have these references so we get a sense of what we're gonna do. Um, again, the lockers, again, the black things underneath. Well, we'll have, let's talk about this door in a bit. Actually, you can see that it's not just a flat wall. It kind of comes out this way. I think similar width as that. And then it goes back and then you have the door. But we also have this bench over here with this nice wood texture coming down just with a cylinder and then expanding out and maybe there are bolts here holding it on the ground so we could do that there's a coffee cup down there all right this is from uh, the other the other end we can see the wire really nicely here and we can see now that there are three supports to this uh, to this bench all right and just various shots of the same kind of thing. Yeah, and that's it. 
all right so as far as that door goes I'll see if I can get a better a better image of the door but it looks like it's gonna come in and I guess it just looks like one rectangle I don't know if the if that's another piece uh, like the door frame sticking out of I, I can't tell <laughs> but then it looks like there's it's got an inset section and another section here with some kind of a keypad and then some some arrows so what I tend to, to do and say uh, is that uh, I'm gonna do my best on modeling these things but there's no way that my textures are going to be exactly the same and so i'm going to make it my own version of this and hopefully it'll be uh, in the spirit of of this image or these images um, with good intentions but it, it's certainly going to differ but let's have some fun modeling this stuff and then coming up with with a texture because it is uh it is a, a nice little scene and it, there are some some things we're going to have to do in order to model and texture this and uh, we'll have some fun uh, with that. All right, so that's the Black Mesa locker room, and we'll start blocking it out uh, in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll join me for the series, and we'll see you next time.